All right, good morning, Cyber Friends. This is the Middle Man coming at you again. I'm back here at Walker Studio in Studio B. And uh, we give God all the praise and give Him all the glory as usual. And thank God for each and every one of you. I, uh, as you see the title of this video, I give all uh, honor to God always. And, uh, Matter of fact, and as you see the title, it said, God loves justice. And God loves justice. I, I'm really, I'm really doing this video uh, as in response to uh, Sister Jackie and the email that I, message that I got from you the other day. And I wish I could say that Sister Jackie, that it surprised me. But you know, the re in reality, it doesn't surprise me because that is the way that I have seen things go in, in our local church, especially in my area. But I, 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 you know, they said there's nothing new. Solomon said that there's nothing new under the sun. And I think Martin Luther King said one time that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So I, I can believe you, sister. I don't have no doubt about what you told me uh, in relationship to the, uh, the music, musicians, and the way they were treated in your area as well, even concerning your husband. And... The only thing that a middle man can say is that it is not right. <clears throat> it's not right. Uh, like I did my teaching on that Bible study on Tuesday night. This is nothing new to me. I've been speaking this here for a lot of years, sister. But it, it, it didn't seem, or it hadn't, I mean, to, to a degree, there are some things that have gotten better. I will say that. Some some people have gotten a little better, but on the majority, uh, it has basically remained the same. When I don't know, when it comes to a fair deal, <clears throat> some of us want to make up the rules as we go. Therefore, we can change them whenever we decide it's deemed necessary to change the rules. We change them. But see, <clears throat> my sister, when I was ordained a deacon, I was ordained by my former pastor, Dr. Donna D. Green Sr. And back in uh, May, it was on May 28, 2017. That was almost a year before I got ill. I was struck ill because I became ill that next year in February in 2018. But I vowed as a deacon that I would do the right thing to the best of my ability. See, in other words, we all got flaws and we all got faults. We all have strengths. We all have weaknesses. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about the overall makeup I had, I made a vow that I would always try to do the right thing and and give everybody a fair shake. That's what I vowed to do as a deacon. And, and, it's, it's, and, and as far as it, any of y'all missionary about the church, where well, my pastor right now is the Reverend Christopher Williams, I intend to do just that. It's to stand for what's right and try to see it through all the way. Not halfway, but see it through all the way. Now, mind you, the church got into something that I don't really like, something else that I don't really like that they do, that we got into. And that democratic society, that democracy, where the majority rule, I don't like that. I don't like that because the majority may not always be right. And nine times out of ten, the majority is hardly ever right. Because most of the time, people will go and gather them a majority. They go get them a posse. Or when they got something that they want to push through the church. <coughs> Excuse me. When they want to push something 
negative through the church, something that they know is wrong, they go and get them a posse and get them a good vote quorum. And for everybody to think like they do so they can push it and have a vote on it and see they'll have the majority vote. And guess what? The majority rule. I don't like that because the majority may not always be right. But this is one mo. This is one motto that I have. Deacon Walker said, "I tell you what, the majority may rule, and I can't change that. But put it on the book that Deacon Walker was against it. I, I, that's all I want. In other words, now y'all, you, your majority rule, but I want you to put it on the book, Madam Secretary." that Deacon Walker was against it. Put my name down. I don't mind being about myself when it comes to right and wrong. And so, when you told me that about your husband and everything, it didn't surprise me because I've seen it. I've seen it over and over and over again uh, how a, a lot of the, not only musicians, but a lot of different op, uh, offices inside the church, how they be... Uh, uh, prejudiced, in other words, and overlooked, and uh, not not given the same, or I should say, the equal quality, or uh, as a, as another office of the church. In other words, just because you are madam this or Mister that, you be treated much better than 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 the one of lower state. No, that's not right. God never meant for that to be so. So what I can say, sister, is just like my title said, God loves justice. And that's how come I say we, as a people, we just need to start doing right ourselves and make certain that we are doing right and make certain that we do not be in justice like that. Let us make sure that we treat everybody of the equal share. In other words, do everybody right. You can't treat everybody the same, but you can treat everybody right. That much I will say. And it's a lot of these, uh, this uh, conversation, uh, uh, topic has come up, especially I've, I've had quite a few people to uh, ask me about this subject matter, about the different offices of the church and what is fair and what is not. I say, look, in other words, what would you want? to be done to you. That's what I ask a person. What would you want to be done to you? Whatever that is that you want to be, that you would want to be done to you, then that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And so, it's a lot of things people bring up a question about this, about this, uh, about money in the church, and I know it, but money is a part of it. Money is a part of it. And God said that bring all the tithe in the offering into my house that there may be meat. Bring them in the storehouse. In other words, he was speaking to the Jews, but it equally applies to all of us as well. We always try to make it be the Jews when it's something that we don't want to do. We automatically say, well, he was speaking to the Jews. Well, last I checked, if you were born again, that makes you a spiritual Jew. So it applies to you too. It applies to you too. We we are we all got a way, a cute way of trying to work our way out of thing when it's something that we don't want to do. But nevertheless, uh, Sister Jack, I just uh, I I had to come back to let, to let you know that I did. Uh, I did I did get that uh, email and I just wanted to let you know I didn't overlook it and everything. I I wanted to do this here response in this way. That way I would I would touch on it, let you know that I touched on it. And I, I wasn't blind to the fact, but it's just sometimes, sister, when you're dealing with so many of these issues and things, and not only being a deacon, I am a musician myself. And so I try to be, I try to be a little, you know, I try to walk a little softly on the subject matter when it comes to the musician side. Because, see, first of all, I don't want anybody to think that I'm being a little biased and prejudiced because I'm a musician. And I think that everything that should go that, that all musicians are great because we are not. We got some shady characters in, as musicians as well. See, it go across the board. It, has, it just ain't on one side. You got shady people everywhere you go. And you got good people. This I come out and say you can't. Don't judge 
everybody on the actions of a few. This is what I said, the same thing about this here unrest that's going on in our country right now with the police department you know, against the people. I don't say police department against the people. I say that we got some we got some communication issues that we need to solve. We got some prejudices, prejudice issues that we need to solve. True. I realize that. But you cannot categorize and put all the policemen in the same pot with those few that did wrong. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's not right. It's not fair. That God loves justice. So that is not just doing justice. It's you that put all the policemen and they, they deem all of them bad just because of the, the actions of just a, a few. Same way it goes with anything else. All musicians are not bad just because a few of them are bad. All preachers are not bad just because we got a few bad ones. No, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do that. There are some people that are actually trying to do what is right and the walk of chalk line. So give them at least half credit. Give them some credit. And so that's what I just wanted to let you know, sister. You know, we just glad. I don't know exactly. Um, I got some. I got a couple of more things I want to try to get done out there in my studio, my main studio today. I'm hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to get on out there today. I was I meant to go out there on yesterday, but I didn't make it. But uh, at any rate, we 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 just doing this thing as it comes, sister. And all you you and all sister Jennifer, y'all this uh, all my inner circle. Y'all know who y'all. I got a few people that are is with, that I believe is with me, and like I said, if if y'all are putting on, then y'all doing a good job at it. I just said like that. So with that said, we gonna go on and sign off here this thing here now and get ready to go on and get to moving on some other areas. So whatever, yeah, like I always tell y'all, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God ain't in it, get out of it because it's gonna come to nothing. To the next video, next Bible study, whichever come first. It's me, the man, saying peace. And good day.